All right, we're gonna do a cold start. It's about 45 degrees. Well, probably about 50 in the garage. Um, there's a choke, choke's closed. I went ahead and pumped the gas three times. We're gonna see how she starts. I'm having trouble with cold starts. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Wow. To my surprise, it actually started right up. Holy crap. It started right up, but I think the choke plate is a little bit too far closed. It's a little better if it's open. Well, wow, that's better than it's ever started before. Let's go see how the exhaust is doing. Oh, it's definitely pump, pumping rich with the choke plate that closed. But it did start. about 1100 rpms you can see she's shaking around a little there we go starting to smooth out now I'm assuming the chokes probably opening It's going into high idle. The idle's still climbing. We're going to go ahead and hit the gas one time. Okay. So for any of you carburetor guys, what do you think? Is the choke just closed a little bit too far upon startup? So it's got a little too tight? It's opening now. Running nice and smooth though. Now that it's, you know, been running here for a minute, a couple minutes. Might as well go ahead and catch this whole thing on uh, video, the whole warm-up process. The butterfly is definitely open. The uh, choke plate, choke plate is definitely opening. Fifteen hundred RPM. There we go. That kicked her down to about seven hundred. Going off that tack. Not sure how accurate it is. It sounds about like a seven hundred RPM idle though. Okay, so here's a problem I have with this. Once again, any of you carburetor guys. Um, it idles nice and smooth. You can see it's a real nice smooth idle once it warms up. The problem is when I first take off from a dead stop, you know, it is a manual, five speed. So when you first take off for a dead stop, if you drive it easy, it'll, it'll want to stall. You definitely got to get the RPMs up and feather the clutch a little bit. And also when you're driving along, just cruising, 
it kind of has a feel like it's like there's a little mist going on now if you put the accelerator down it's fine it, it runs just fine the mist totally goes away and everything so I, I'm pretty sure it's all carburetor related I do have a brand new carburetor on the way but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think so that's that's the cold start of the old 89 Wrangler you know what I want to do one more thing because I've heard you want to look down and see what the ga uh, gas looks like in there how it's coming out see if I can get that so if any of you guys can see anything in there that I can't give it a little gas So you can see that that stepper motor working in the back there. Anyways, any of you guys can give me any tips, let me know. Thanks.